What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate and today we're talking the top 10 After Effects plugins and scripts, paid and free, not sponsored reviews. All right, let's go. So first up on the list, one of my all time favorites, if you've used After Effects, you'd know that there is no easy way to copy and paste directly into the program. And this can be a huge pain in the ass because this makes importing images a very time consuming process. So check this out. Copy Pasta fixes that by allowing you to directly import high resolution images directly into After Effects. Come on, can somebody give me an applause for that? As of today, it's only $10, which if you're a serious user of After Effects, I highly would recommend. And this one definitely deserves the, the black, black mixture, mixture stamp, stamp of, of approval. approval. <laughs> okay, so on to the next plugin on the list, we have Paint and Stick. So this plugin is made by or distributed by AE Scripts and AE Plugins, not sure which. But either way, it has seriously made my life easier when it comes to hand-drawn animation. I owe it to this plugin for making videos like this. Possible. Painstick brings extremely useful keyframe animation features that you might only see in a 2D animation program like Flash or Flip It Clip, but it brings that to After Effects. And this is amazing because Onion Skin is an absolute must when it comes to getting a sense of rhythm and reference when drawing frame by frame. Not only that, but Paint and Stick allows you to paint directly onto 3D objects within After Effects. It's an insane plugin built for animators. Another round of applause, and of course, a well earned Black Mixture stamp of approval. So, the next plugin we're going to talk about is Composite Brush. Now, if you're experienced with Chroma Keying or working with Keylight, you're going to love Composite Brush because all the headache and the pain workflow that you need to key out a background and fix mats just disappears with Composite Brush. This has been my go-to plugin for keying not just green screen shots, but general things I never would have thought of, like drawings and non-transparent images. Before, I just wouldn't think that something like this would be possible because getting an accurate key and a mat like that would take a disgusting amount of time. But Composite Brush has worked time and time again Definitely worth the $100, but I know this can be a bit pricey if you're just starting out to spend on what appears to be a niche feature. Trust me, if you decide to make the investment, you know why it gets the Black Mixture stamp of approval. Next on the list from one of my favorite developers, Pixflow, we have Motion Factory. This is a stacked plugin that comes free and also has paid add-ons to flesh out the features. But the UI alone is an awesome drag and drop live preview dashboard that completely enhances After Effects. They didn't stop there because the developers also beautifully packaged Motion Factory with builders for particles, type, real and cartoon effects, glitches, and HUD elements. It's an awesome find that definitely speeds up our workflow and is a must have in After Effects. For that, it's definitely worth the Black Mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so number six on the list, we have Red Giant Universe, which I don't even know where to begin because this one, th there's just so much packed into it. I'll try anyways. All right, a comprehensive set of stylization effects, useful motion graphics elements and presets, a fuck ton of transitions and effects that's like adding an extra program, and best of all, a super clean and easy to use interface. This is a must have for us here, but I'm gonna warn you, it's one of the more premium products costing roughly $199 for students, $360 a year for everyone else, and about $800 a year if you're a business and need it to run on multiple computers. So yeah, that's more than After Effects itself, but if you're looking to save time and up your game, and also happen to have the money to spend, I definitely recommend Red Giant Universe. Okay, so fifth on the list is probably one of the most popular and quickly adopted plugins on the market right now. If you've seen some of our earlier projects like McKenna's Mona Lisa video, or even our all deaf behind the scenes video, you may have seen some sick transitions like these. In the past, there were some time consuming workarounds, but thankfully we use 
handy seamless transitions to save us a huge amount of time setting up these effects. Wait, before we go any deeper into this list, I want you to know right now that this list is in no way a complete picture of all the plugins and scripts that I use in After Effects. I know I've referenced a few projects here and there, but there are so many more niche ways to improve After Effects that I'll go over those in another video. So again, if you're looking for how to make something specific or even how specifically to speed up your workflow, this is not that video. All right, I just wanted to get that out the way. Now back to the video. It comes with audio sound effect options and some cool customization features that make it an awesome plugin to use. Now I will add that this plugin has bugged out and required me to restart After Effects a few times when working on projects with it. But the support from devs is awesome and they're constantly updating it. So as of now, it's $50 and with hundreds of transitions, a clean UI port through Motion Bro, it is definitely worth it. Fourth on the list is one I've used on countless projects from Snapchat to all Def to then passing it along to the team to use on all of their projects, it's Animation Composer 2. And a lot of time in animation tends to be wasted when you have to repeat the process of keyframing individual objects. At my fastest speed, something like this may take me 30 seconds to maybe even a minute. But if I wanted to do 20 of these to animate on screen, that would take me 20 to 40 minutes doing something repetitive of which I'll probably get bored halfway through and begin to question the meaning of life. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Thankfully, Animation Composer 2 has given me the answer because it allows me to drag and drop super useful animation transitions and effects directly onto layers within After Effects. This saves an enormous amount of time and there's both a paid and free version of this plugin, so kudos to Mr. Horse for being such an awesome developer. Ooh, okay, so right now we're getting down to the last three plugins, and I, I should have told you this earlier, but the first seven are in no way chronologically ordered for importance. They're just too dope and too unique to compare like that, but I'm gonna tell you this, the number one plugin on this list is one that I personally cannot touch After Effects without it. So make sure you stick around so you don't miss that one. All right, back to the video. <laughs> All right, so back to number three, we have Element 3D. From the godfather of After Effects himself, Andrew Kramer and Video Copilot's Element 3D is just so awesome. It's jam-packed with features, runs insanely fast, and there's a load of resources to make it even better. There's tutorials, models, textures, and lighting setups, and I really like to just think of this program as a 3D program made with all the features that I wish Cinema 4D had meeting After Effects. Once installed, you turn into a post-production beast because you can do so much with it. So it's a premium plugin at a $200 price point, and after using it for a few years, I'd say it's worth even more. Second to last is Motion V2. It's from one of my favorite devs, Mount MoGraph, who is also here on YouTube with a bunch of clean and easy to use tutorials. This plugin is jam packed with features that make life in After Effects so much easier. From its keyframe curve adjuster to its project auto sort, I just find myself constantly using Motion V2 in just about every project. There's way more features like an excite, stare, orbit, rope effect just to name a few of the 20 different tools. I bought this plugin when it was $20 and checking today it's $40, which I'd go as far to say is still a steal for what you're getting. There's just too much to go over in this video, so if you want to learn more, check out Mount MoGraph's 30 minute plus overview of everything inside of Motion V2. And finally, the plugin I literally cannot touch After Effects without. It's also a free one made by my all-time favorite developer, Video Copilot. We have FX Console. And now, let me tell you that before using this plugin, I didn't realize just how much time gets wasted in the default UI of After Effects. So to apply effects presets, you pretty much have to right-click a layer and sift through a bunch of tabs to find the name of what it is that you want. Or you can go all the way to the right side or where you have it docked, the presets panel, and then type in there. But either way, it's such a slow updating process that you'll end up wasting a lot of time that you don't know you're wasting until you install FX Console. FX Console speeds so much of your workflow by adding a shortcut toolbar loaded with customizable preset slots and a full resolution capture system and gallery. 
So I've used it in every project since installing it and I don't think there's any way that I could go back to the days before this plugin existed. Make sure you get it yourself because it'll save you so much time and headache. And again, links will be in the description along with prices for each of the plugins. This one is free, just like this video. So make sure you subscribe because we'll be putting out a lot more content not just After Effects stuff, but also an in-depth look at the creative process and how to specifically do things here and there. I think I'm gonna start up a mailing list, how about that? You guys want a mailing list? You guys want emails from yours? Truly? Huh? Yeah, you probably do. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button, and then you will find out when I announce the mailing list and how to get yourself signed up with weekly dope songs, dope content, dope videos. I don't even know what else to talk about. It's something that you're probably gonna want, so check that out. And we are done with the video. Bizams.